Hi children, welcome to Annie's Learniverse tutorial. The Hungry Bunnies In the quaint little town of Furfrey Nugger, nestled amidst lush green meadows and vibrant gardens, there lived two inseparable friends, Motu and Patlu. One sunny morning, as they strolled through the park, they stumbled upon something curious. A family of bunnies nibbling on the grass, looking unusually thin and weak, Dot Motu, always the compassionate one, exclaimed, Patlu, these bunnies look so hungry. We must do something to help them. Patlu, ever the quick thinker, nodded in agreement. You're right, Motu. Let's gather some fresh vegetables from the garden and feed them. The duo rushed to their friend Gasitarum's vegetable patch. Gasitarum, known for his generosity, happily agreed to share his produce. Armed with baskets of carrots, lettuce, and cabbages, Motu and Patlu hurried back to the park. As they approached the bunnies, Motlu's stomach growled loudly. Motu, I think your stomach is hungrier than these bunnies. Patlu teased, ignoring his hunger, Mota handed the first carrot to the smallest bunny. The bunny nibbled eagerly, its eyes shining with gratitude. Soon, the entire family was munching happily, their energy returning with each bite. While the bunnies enjoyed their feast, Motlu and Patlu noticed something peculiar. A little further in the park, there was a signboard that read, Caution, Bunny Burrow, Do Not Disturb. Nearby, they saw a patch of dried up vegetables and realized. The bunnies had been scared away from their food source. Determined to solve the problem, Patlu devised a plan. Motu, we need to create a safe path for the bunnies to reach their food without fear. They gathered wooden planks, ropes, and old tires, constructing a small bridge over the disturbed area. With some effort and ingenuity, they built a safe pathway leading directly to the bunnies' burrow. As evening approached, the bunnies, now well-fed and lively, hopped towards their new bridge. Tentatively at first, but soon with more confidence, they used the bridge to reach their food without any trouble. Motu and Patlu watched with satisfaction. We did it, Patlu. The bunnies are safe and happy now. Gasitarum, who had been observing from a distance, approached them. You both have big hearts. Furfrey Nugger is lucky to have friends like you. Just then, Motlu's stomach growled again, louder than before. Everyone laughed. I guess it's time to feed our own hungry bunny, Patlu joked. Patting Motlu on the back, as they headed home, the sun set behind them, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink. In their hearts, Motu and Patlu knew they had made a difference, not just for the bunnies, but for the whole community of Furfrey Nugger. And that night, they slept with smiles on their faces, dreaming of new adventures to come.